Hello everyone. I like to plant whole tubers as seeds if I'm planting. The reason is because uh, there is no injury to any part of this one and there is that tendency that it will sprout very fast because there's already a predestined area where it will sprout. But that's me. For most people, you may not really have that luxury of having whole sediums to actually plant. And that will not make you to get bigger tubers and split them into sets. And more also for those who want to generate sediums using the mini set technique, you have to actually mass produce that way. Now, for those who want to cut yams into sets, there is a major challenge and that major challenge is the time for it to sprout and for some cases you may lose the seed in the ground or in the soil and so that is why this experiment is coming up today what is actually the time it takes what length of time does it take to actually sprout i want to know what you think or if you have experience regarding planting yam set, let me know what you think. Because for me, I discovered that the time is usually very, very long compared to when I plant whole seed. But the advantage of this still remains that you can just go to the market, get any tuber that has broken dormancy, split them and plant. So the ease of getting this. And more also, I've done an analysis kind of I realize that if you even split set, it's cheaper compared to buying <laughs> whole seed. So that's why you see most of my videos, I always advocate that you start growing your own seed. So for this experiment today, we are going to look at what time does it take between when we plant and when it starts to sprout. Because it's that sprouting time, that point of sprouting that you will now start counting the number of months that your yam is going to actually spend. All right, so I have decided to split uh, a particular tuba from one particular tuba so that at least there will be no bias. And this is where I intend to plant them. We are going to be looking at this. But before we go there, let us quickly do a little bit of um, analysis. What is actually, what is yam set? What is a set and what is a mini set? I've said this before, but I just want to reiterate so that for some other persons who may not have had the opportunity, they will learn. Usually, usually, a yam set is any cut that you make and you weigh them and they will give you about an average, average of 250 grams. 250 grams. That's considered yam set. But for mini sets, is smaller than that and it usually will weigh between the expert will say it should weigh between 25 gram and 50 gram so this one is a mini set you can consider this <laughs> to be a yam set so you 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 find out why I'm, I'm smiling because actually this is not up to 250 250 uh, gram but it's more than 50 gram so i'm going to be considering uh, this one as my yam set today for this purpose ideally it's supposed to be about 250 gram and so we are going to plant this set yam set today and we are going to determine when it is going to sprout but Interestingly, this experiment is going to be like three folds. This is a three fold experiment. Even though we are just going to be looking at the time it will take for it to sprout when you plant. But I want to do is a little bit of modification. And what is that modification? I want to actually check do you, how do we actually plant this yam set? A lot of people are confused as to how to plant. So we are going to choose four different methods of planting this yam set today. I'm going to be demonstrating four different methods of planting this yam set. 
and we are going to look at the time it will take. Will all of them germinate at the same time? Will, does it matter how you put this yam set in the soil? That is what this experiment is going to be looking at. That's one. Secondly, of course, we are going to now eventually determine the time it will take for it to sprout. This video is going to be in phases. And the last thing that we are going to be looking at, I have seen a lot of uh, videos where people say that you can get very big tubers from even planting mini set, like as small as this one is now, that it can give you where yam. That's what many people have said. Yes, from my own experience, it may not be far from the truth, but it's not entirely from my own personal experience. Please, that's a disclaimer. From my own personal experience, I have realized that it depends on probably where you planted or maybe how rich the soil is and all that. In my own case, I would say I've, I've had to, you know, experience what I call outliers. Now, what I mean by that is this. Yes, you may plant up to about 20 mini sets and you see maybe one will just grow large into where you am. But that's not usually the case for all. So you might have some wear yams, but it's not that, a, it's not a must that when you plant one small thing, it will give you, it will always give you wear yam. But I want to know what you think. I want to, your own experience, because my own experience may be different from yours. Probably you will just give me some secrets that is going to even make my own work better. But as it stands now, mini set will give me seed yams and seed yam will be planted to give way yam. But there are times where some mini seeds, they are outliers, they will just give large tubers, but not usually the case for me. So for you, you might, you, you might be more knowledgeable than me in this regard, and please uh, teach me what you know. So, but I'm going to be taking this as my set today, but this one is, is big enough, so very lightly, Will this give me a large tuba or will, or will it give me something that is just between CDM and WAYAM? We are going to be getting those answers at the end of this whole experiment. So that's the reason why you should stay with us. If you have not subscribed, this is it. Time to do so. So let's go straight to the planting now. All right. So quickly, before I just, before I start demonstrating the planting, it will be important to just quickly look at the weight of what we are planting so that we'll have an idea. Okay, now, these are the sets. Okay. This is about 75 gram. So, and this is 78 gram. Almost have the same. Okay, this is 60, 68. They are almost all in the same range, about 70. So, by and large, they are almost all in the same range. Of course, we can consider them to be the average. See, all right, this is 28 gram for the mini set. It's 30 gram, 26 gram, 25 gram. So on the average, about 25 gram. So we are going to do the the planting now. All right, guys, we are ready to plant now. Now, what I'm going to do? Okay, maybe it's two. A little bit low. So what I'm going to do here is this. I have one very big um, container filled with soy, manure, sawdust, and all that. Well mixed. But I divided them into about four compartments. Because we're going to demonstrate the four planting methods. So everything will be here. The reason why this is like this is because it will remove the bias of, you know, putting them in different places. Now I'm going to plant one set per segment and one mini set per segment. Remember, the major focus is we want to look at when it will sprout. Now, the first compartment is going to be here. The second will be here. So I'm going to go clockwise before 12 o'clock this is 12 o'clock before 12 o'clock after 12 o'clock before 6 o'clock and after 6 o'clock so 
we have the four quadrant. So let's say the 12 o'clock is the, is, the, is, the, is the reference point. Now, before the 12 o'clock, what is the planting uh, method we're going to use here? Remember, the sprout is going to come from this back. Every other part is so I've treated with ash so that there will be no, no uh, early decay, which is a very major problem with this. There could be fungal or infection, mold can grow and it will just get bad. That's the major challenge with using set and mini set. Now, the first planting method will be this. I'm going to take this back. I'm going to, some people say you plant with this back down. And that's what I'm going to do. That's what some people said. So the whole cut surface will be facing up. Even though I have a, ch a challenge with this because it's going to sprout from here. It's going to now sprout into the ground, but some people still say sprout. So we're going to use that method. This one is, first one is down. What, so what I'm going to do, the set will be planted here at the middle or at the middle of the segment, while the mini set will be towards the end so that all sets will just be here like this. All the mini sets will be towards the end. The reason is because so that we'll be able to know which is which at the end of harvest. All right, so I'm going to plant down now. I try, I'll just try as much as possible to make sure that all my holes, they are just about five centimeter deep so that you give all of them the equal chance. So see this one now, it's going down like this. All right, so the set will also be planted that same way. It will go down like this. So if you, if you, if you look carefully, I hope the camera is seeing it. If you look carefully, they are, um, they are just around the same uh, depth. I'm, I'm not going to cover them yet so that we all know that they are all the same depth. What we are trying to do is to remove bias as much as possible. Now, the second, the second segment, which is this side after the 12 o'clock, I'm going to plant it so that the back will be facing up. All right. This, I'm going to do that here. Almost the same depth. So, so the, this back now is facing up. All the cut surface facing down. Is that the right way to plant it? But I'll tell you my own preferred one. So I'm also going to plant the mini set like that. All right, the mini set like that. Okay, so that is method number two. Then method number three. Method number three. Now, this method number three, we are going to use this back against the soil, but it's going to be at an angle and it's going to be standing like this. Because this is the way my set, my set is long, so it's going to be standing, but it's going to be angulated at 45 degrees. All right. That's exactly what I'm going to do here. Now, the essence of this 45 degrees, let me just say, we, we, you normally want it to adapt to the soil so that once it's going to sprout, it's just sprout and go this way. Do you understand? This is it. This is method number three to plant set. All right. So this is what I have done. The same thing I'm going to do with the mini set. It's going to be like this at an angle 45. So you see, almost all of them are all the same there. Then the last one. Now this last one, there's, you see, I, I, I put the set vertically in the third one. But in this last one, I'm going to be doing taking it to lie down like this, see? Not like this, but like this. This same way, I'll just, I'll just put it like this so that the back will just adapt. No matter how you do it, whether you bend it a little or whatever, it's still the same thing. But some people will say, okay, let me adapt it so that it will be touching the soil very well. But whichever way, this is the fourth position. All right? I'll put it down. I'll just, just like that, horizontal. Put it down just like this. So we are going to look at these four methods now. When would, would they all sprout out at the same time? Because 
of course you see that there's no sprout anywhere from them now and they are all from the same the same yam from the same tuba i got all of them so there's no bias i'm planting them inside the same place all right so i'm going to just cover cover because they are almost all the same uh level but interestingly i'm going to show you what i did before so this is this this is what informed this content i'm going to show you something else that i've done before all right so now i've already i've already planted so our time has started so we want to know this is day zero we'll be giving you update to see when each of them is going to sprout so please take note method one method two method three and method four so don't go away i want to show you something so guys i said i was going to show you something this sack this one and this what happened was that i actually got a tuba and i split the tuba into sets now the head part of the tuba germinated very fast give me these two all right give me these two and of course they have gone very very far and the other part of the tuba so the other set this is just them coming up right now in fact this one and this one they are the same circle now this is just coming out this one is just coming out guess what do you know how many days it took for these ones to come up I'm just checking this. This is coming out today. And this is like, I planted around 10th of March. And this is early May. So it took about 50 days for these ones to sprout. 50 good days for these ones to start sprouting. Now, 50 days of the, the 50 days, it's well over 50 days now we are having this one sprouting the same tuba so you can see that these ones are set so i don't know whether it's because of the variety there's a particular variety that did this i don't know why that long time so that is what informed me and i thought of it like i'm sure a lot of people because i'm not so used to planting sets and mini sets. i love to plant for those who know me i love to plant whole tubas but i realized that a lot of people they will have more access, especially when you are a beginner or maybe you are in the diaspora. You don't even have access to seed at all. All you are having is a tuba and you don't have maybe the head that will sprout fast. You want to use the other part. So you need to have that at the back of your mind so that you will not be worried when your stuff is not germinating on time. Oh, you, you heard that yeah, we usually sprout between two to three weeks and now over one month, six weeks even two months yours has not germinated that is why we are doing this experiment so i know you want to see the results because this species is different from the one we are we, are, we have used to do this experiment now the this for the experiment is an improved variety i will tell you the improved variety well later not now but for this one it was just a random species that i used and it took about 50 days or even more now for it to sprout i want to know what is your own experience what is your experience does the planting method determine the rate at which it will sprout or the time at with which it will sprout all these questions we hope to answer hopefully all our seeds they germinate because we planted both sets and we planted mini sets thank you for all that you have been doing don't forget to share our videos and don't forget to subscribe if you have not done you have a lot to learn this is just part one there will be a part two to this there will even be a part three to this and i'm sure you are eager to know the results as well as myself so don't forget to use the thank you button for those of you have that have been sending us thank you through our thank you button we are very grateful because those things encourage us to do more thank you and god bless you